All right, so this video we're going to look at finding the percentile for a normal distribution. And I've got three different examples, and each, all three of them are a little bit different. Uh, this one will, uh, we'll be able to find the exact uh, number in the chart. This one we won't, and it'll be a positive Z value. And this one we won't be able to find the exact, and this will be on the a negative z value and you'll see what I'm talking about when we start working them but the the one thing that you need to uh, that you need to remember when we're finding these is that z is equal to x minus mu over sigma okay and this is a z all right so what we're doing is we want to know the percentile we're looking for this x value here okay alright so let's take a look at the first example alright so if we have a normal distribution here okay we've got a normal distribution and what we need to find is x so we're given the mean which is 63 we're given sigma which is the standard deviation of 5 Okay. And so what we've got to do is we've got to figure out what z is. And once we figure out what z is, we can solve this equation here for x. Okay. Well, you know on the standard normal curve, okay, the mean is 0. Okay. And we need to find the 97.5 percentile. Okay. All right. So that means we're looking for a z value here, and this area here is 0.975. We know the z value is to the right of 0, because if 0, see look, on the normal distribution, here's the mean 0, so we know this area is 0.5, and we know this area is 0.5. Okay, because the entire area under the curve is 1, and if we know that the area to the left of 0 here is 0.5 well an area of 0.975 would have to be over here because we need more area okay and the chart that I'm using the the chart that I'm using to look up if you have a z value the chart I have gives the area to the left of the z value okay all right so what we have to do is we have to go find an area of 0.975. So if we come over here to our Z table, okay, so you should know how to read this, okay, looking up a Z value and then finding the area here, okay. So remember, these values in here, that's the area. Okay, and then the v z values here, that's our, these are our z values. So for example, if, if we look at this and say this, this would be a z value of 1.14. Okay, alright, and that, that value would have an area of this, 0.87. Nine. Okay, but what we have is our area to the left is 0.975 so we've got to find this area in here so if we come over here and look for 0.975 let's see here it is see we found it we found it exactly 0.975 and what area and what z value does that correspond to 1.96 so our z value is 1.96 okay so let's come back over here and we know that z is equal to 1.96 so you can see we know what 
z is, we can plug into here. We know mu, which is 63, this is mu, and we know sigma, which is 5, that's sigma. So we just plug all this in and solve for x. So I've got 1.96 equals x minus 63 over 5. All right, so now we solve. So we multiply everything by 5. So 5 times this, the 5s will cancel. And then we've got 5 times 1.96 equals x minus 63. And then we add the 63 to both sides. So I get 5 times 1.96 plus 63 equals x. And so that is going to give me x equals, all right, so I'll just punch this into my calculator, plus 63, and that is going to give me 72.8, okay, and so that's a 72.8 score is the 97.5 percentile, and so this is our answer. All right, so that one wasn't bad. We were able to find that number exactly on the, on the Z table. All right, so let's take a look at this next one here. All right, so let me go ahead and write this back up here. All right, so now we want to find the 90th percentile. So let's go ahead and look that up. So there's zero on the standard normal curve. Here's Z. And I need the 90th percentile. So that's 90%. Write it in a decimal. So I need to go to my chart and find 90%. All right. So I've got 0.9. That's what I'm looking for. This is the area to the left of the Z. I need to know what the Z value is. So I need to come in here and find 0.9. All right. So 0.9 is going to be right in here between these two numbers. Okay. Now, we're not going to be able to find the exact z-score. You can, but you would need to use some software. You, need to, uh, you can use Excel to do it. I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, and depending on what your teacher tells you to do, uh, for this video, what I'll do is, since 0.9 falls in between, do you, do you notice that 0.9 is closer to this number than it is this one? Okay. So what I'll do is we'll just use this. Okay. Now, and let me go ahead and I'm going to circle this one in green. In green. I'll tell you what, I'll just highlight it yellow too. That's the one we're going to use because it's closer. Now, depending on what your teacher tells you to do, a lot of time, what I will usually tell my students, if it falls in between, just go to the one on the right, or if it falls in between, go to the one on the left, okay? The reason I do that is so all the students will do it the same, okay? Now, your teacher may tell you that, or they may tell you, go to the one that it's closer to, and that's fine, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to go to the one that it's closer to. So we can see that this corresponds to 1.28. Okay. So there's the Z value. 1.28. So I've got this is equal to 1.28. And so now I just plug everything in. The 63 goes in for mu, the 5 goes in for sigma, the 1.28 goes in for z. So I've got 1.28 equals x minus, 
63 over 5. And then if I multiply by 5, that's the just like I did in the previous example. So I got 5 times 1.28 equals x minus 63. So 5 times 1.28 plus 63 equals x. And so that's going to give me a value of x, 5 times 1.28 plus 63, that is 69.4, okay? So that's the 90th percentile. All right, now let's look at the 25th percentile. All right, so let's... Let's draw the standard normal curve again. And we know the mean is zero. And we know from, from zero back to the left, that's 50% or 0.5. So now I'm only doing the 25th percentile. So I know my z-score is over here. And I'm looking for 0.25. That's the z-value I'm looking for. So let's come back over here to our standard normal curve and notice all of these z values are positive and so I'm gonna go here to where the z values are negative and I'm looking for that area there which is 0.25 okay so let's find 0.25 the 25th percentile alright so it's gonna be down here somewhere uh, let's see. There we go. Got to go down a little bit more. So it looks like it is going to be. Let's see. Okay, right in between. right in between these two okay all right so this one it falls in between again and this one it's not so obvious which one it's closer to and actually if you put it in a calculator and find the difference between this in 0.25 and this in 0.25 the difference in this one in 0.25 is 0 0.0014 and the difference in this one in point two five is point zero zero one seven so it's it's closer to this one okay this one here that I've hot that I've got highlighted okay and like I said your teacher may tell you just go to the one on the right or just go to the one on the left so you'll all be the same okay and you may have to punch it in your calculator to see which one it's closer to the other the last one we did it was a little more obvious okay so let's see which one it corresponds to. Right, whoop, in a very straight line. So it corresponds to negative 0.67. Okay, see the negative 0.67. All right. So this is negative 0.67. And so now we just plug it into here okay and so we've got negative 0.67 times whoop, I'm sorry I'm starting to solve it already x minus 63 over 5 and then we solve so we got 5 times negative 0.67 equals x minus 63 so 5 times negative 0.67 plus 63 equals x and look and, and you can see if you notice in this formula we're going to do 63 and it's going to be minus because see this is negative and that makes sense because the mean for x is 63 well if it's if the numbers to the left of the mean you're going to have to subtract it from 63 you see that and noticed on the other two it was over here and this number over here was positive so we was at we were adding it to the mean okay 
So this is going to be 5 times negative 0.67 plus 63 and that is going to give us 59.65. And that's your answer. And I know this video was kind of long but I wanted to show you all the different types. I hope it helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.